Hi guys, this is Nice Sharma, and in this session, we will discuss the data validation in Microsoft Excel. For data validation, we have the multiple option in Microsoft Excel. So we check first of all any value. If you select this one, it means you can enter any kind of value, numbers, text, or alphanumeric, any date. Then whole number, it means only the numbers you can enter. And if you select decimal, so only the decimal value you can input in the data. Then list, let me see you can create a drop down with predefined value. Later on you can select one value from that list. Then date, you can define the minimum and maximum range of the dates. So the system will take only the date between the defined dates. Then time. Again, you can define the range of the time, minimum time and the maximum. Then text length, in case of text length, you can define minimum length, maximum length of text you enter in the data. Custom, in case of the custom, you can create your own formula for validation of the data. Now, we check the data validation rule which are available in the Microsoft Excel. So, we have the multiple option for the validation of the data. Any value, all in numbers, decimal, list, date, time, text length, and custom. So first of all, any value. This is the by default. Any value means we can enter any kind of value, say date, time, numbers, text, alphanumeric. Suppose if I type so this is valid. And by default, it takes any value. If we check the data validation rule, so in the setting, allow any value. This is the by default rule. So we can type any value in this text box. But second option is the input message. Suppose we want to display some kind of message below this input box. So we can type here any value. You can enter any value in this box. Then OK. So once you select this cell, that message is displayed. Next one is the only numbers. So we can restrict the numbers range or greater than or less than. So select this cell, data validation, settings. Now second whole numbers. It means if we apply this rule, so this cell will accept only the numbers, but we can define the range. We have multiple options for these numbers between, not between, equal to, not equal to, greater than. So you can take any one. So Right now we are taking the between say 5 and 10. It means the minimum is the 5 and the maximum is the 10. Then OK. Now if I try some number here say 3. Then go to next cell. So we have an error message. Data validation message. The value you enter is not a valid. If I say retry say 6 and go to next cell. Now this number is accepted and same way you can display message below this box you can enter numbers between 5 and 10. So once you select this cell, the message is displayed. The next one is the decimal. So we can define or we can apply the rule for decimal value only. So go to data validation and then settings, any value, decimal. So between say 2.5 minimum and say 4.5 that is the maximum value 
so if I try save one go to next one again I get the message this is not the valid okay if I try say 2.6 then this is valid this is accepted now next one is the list for the list we can create a predefined value in a drop down list so select this one data validation now list so in case of list you can select the range from your sheet otherwise you can create your own data in source say red comma black then green yellow comma separated value say ok now we have a drop down red black green yellow so you can select red or you can select say black from this list now suppose if I type here say 3 then I get the error message and I want to display my own custom message so go to validation data validation and error alert then title numbers only and numbers must be between 5 and 10 so this is the custom message now again try 3 we have a custom message number must be between 5 and 10 next we check the date so you can restrict this box to accept only the date format so data validation data validation then date type and you can define the date range so by default say between say 25 January 2020 then it's a 30 January 20 so minimum date is the 25th January and the maximum is the 30th January okay now I try the date here say 20 January 20 so this is the invalid date this is not in our range we define now if I try say 26 so this is valid because this is now in our range now next is the time sometimes you need the time in a proper format if I type here say 2 no it's not a proper format you want this like this is 2 or say 23 then 10 like this format so you can validate the time with the rule data validation then time and colon 00, zero. 24 hours ok now so 23 colon 10 it's valid now if I type here say 2 not a valid if I type here 2.35 it's a valid so this is how you can format the time next is the text length so you can define or you can restrict the minimum and maximum length of the text data validation now the text save 5 and 10 it means the length of the text should be minimum that should be the 5 characters and maximum should be the 10 characters ok if I type here 4 characters error message now if I type here lotus 5 characters so this is valid next is the custom sometimes you think the existing all the rules does not fulfill your requirement in that case you can create your, your own custom function now my requirement is in this custom I want if this value is a pure numeric then the value should be accepted here otherwise no so 
data validation now custom and formula equal to is number predefined function of the excel and a3 so this function validate the value in the a3 if it is the pure numbers then we return the true otherwise false say okay now i try to type something here say a b c and i get the error because this number this value is not a pure number this is the alpha numeric value okay say i change this 1 2 3 4 4 now this is a pure number i type here a b c so this is accepted but later on someone change the value in the this one but still this value is there but according to the rule this value is not valid now because we have changed the value in this column so how to now recognize which data is invalid so for this purpose in data validation circle invalid data so all the invalid data will have the circle in the rectangle so you can remove this so this is how you can use the custom function in microsoft excel so guys this was all about the data validation rule in the microsoft excel thanks for watching the video